Shalom is real. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachak Wadash, for allowing me to do this lesson. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And this lesson is going to go into, um, basically, it's going to basically pose a question to the non believers or the, uh, you know, these wacky tacky Christians. You know, because when we tell them the laws are still in effect, you're not supposed to eat abominable foods like pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You know, we tell them that committing adultery is wrong. We tell them that getting lineups is wrong. We tell them that following these holidays of America is wrong. You know, they may rebuttal, or a lot of times they normally rebuttal to where, oh, that's the Old Testament. The Old Testament is done in a way with, you know. We live by faith, okay? But the scriptures say what? Faith without works is dead, all right? And my question to them is, if the laws are done in the way with, why are we, if the laws are done in the way with, okay, why are we under this captivity to this very day? The laws was given to us at least 3,000 years ago, and we're feeling the effects of going against the laws, of going against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. Okay, and um, another thing that, you know, they don't realize is that they might use this scripture right here, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to, the, according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Now, how do you know whether the things you have done are good and bad? You know, what do you have to judge it against? You know? Like in this world, Esau even tell you, you know, you broke the law, therefore I gave you a ticket. Okay, this is why you gave me a ticket. This is why I'm at fault, you know. And a lot of times it's to where, um, you know, it'll be a sign there. Okay, don't park here between this and this. I was, you still park there anyway, you get a ticket. Okay, it's the same thing with the Heavenly Father. How about she, how shy? Because you went off, therefore what? I have the right to, to uh, put these curses upon you, man. You know, but and you have, like I said, you have to have something. You have that. There has to be a standard set. You know, there has to be a standard set, in which you know it's 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 really common sense. You know, but in this world, under Esau Edom, they teach you not to use your mind. Okay, they teach you, uh, you know, do as thou wilt, but at the same time, you have to follow my laws. That you know, you know, which is that's a, a confusion. <laughs> That's confusion, but nonetheless, the laws still do matter. Okay. Now let's go to uh Romans six and let me see twenty-three. For the wages of sin is death. So what's the payment of sin? Which what is sin? Sin Grab that actually. Uh, was that First John? No. Uh, it's lucky. First John 3 and 4. Whoso committeth sin transgresseth the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Okay. Sin is the transgression of the law. So now when we go to Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death. Okay. So how would the Lord pay us back? By sinning? All right, is by uh, killing us, man. You know, in a way, you can say, "Yeah, how about Shimmy? I was sure I killed us by putting these curses upon us, man. You know, by putting the lowest among the heathen upon us, uh, over us. You know. But the gift of God is eternal life through Yahweh Shai, our power. 
okay? That's the point right there, for the wages of sin is death. All right, the wages of sin is death. Now, when we go, I have right here in the, um, the book of Deuteronomy 28th chapter, because whether you believe it or not, it validates uh, who we are, you know? So this is Deuteronomy 28, and I'm going to start at 15. But if thou, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Okay? So no matter where Jake is, it's normally a high crime rate. All right, no matter you know how good you're doing the, on the job, you know you normally uh, uh, you know ridiculed for every small thing you do, every small mistake you might make. You know if Edom might do it, oh, oh well, you know he's just human. But if Jake do it, he's the worst person on earth. You know as far as the job goes, so it says, "Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store; cursed shall be the fruit of thy body." You know. So, curse shall be thy, thy basket and thy store, basically meaning, you know, curse is going to be your uh, your source of uh, uh, income. Okay, okay. You know, and a lot of jigs, like even for the so-called Hispanics, yeah, they might own, you know, these corner stores and stuff like that. But best believe, you know, they ain't doing too good out of that, out of, out of uh, those stores either. Okay, always getting robbed. You know, or if it might be looking like it's flourishing, it's because he's selling drugs out of it, man. And curse shall be the fruit of thy body. You know, a big thing among you so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, you know, is that you diabetics. You know what I'm saying? You got high blood pressure, stuff like that. And the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kin, and the flocks of thy sheep. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in. And cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. Okay, when you're coming into this world, you know, you are uh, stuck with needles. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're, you're, uh, you know, you know, you just harassed. By the time, the time you come in, it says, "Cursed shall thou be when thou goest out." You know, and when you out, when you go out of this world, nine times out of ten, for you so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans. You know, you're talked down upon. All right, your name is a, a stain, man. Okay? So it says, Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in. All right, you're born into slavery. All right, like I said, as soon as you're, you're born, you're given an ID and a, um, you know, a tag, you know, social security number. And when you go out, you know, it's normally by violence anyway, man. You know? It's normally by violence. You know, that's why, like, if you have a, a you know, a, a younger so-called black man, you know, he's, he's, uh, it's kind of like he's praised if he's, um, if he's actually doing good for himself, you know, because for the most part, for the majority of Jake, you know, they, they do a lot of nigga shit, man. And therefore, you know, you, you get shot down, all right, in the streets, or so, normally by, like, a gang violence, or even by a cop, man, you know, so it's cursed on either side, man. The Lord shall send upon thee cursings, vexations, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand unto, for to do until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forgot, forsaken me. You know, and until this very day, you know, you have, you have our people you know, who are looked down upon, you know, when you think about immigrants in America, you think about who's, uh, Mexicans, man, so-called Mexicans, okay, so this is literally a sentence of death, I'm gonna read it once more, all right, it says, the Lord shall send upon thee cursings, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand unto, for to do until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly. Alright, going into what we just read, Romans 6 and 23. 
for the wages of sin is death. Okay? You know, what happens when you die, man? You know? It's almost, you basically perish, man. Well, your, your body, at least. And your spirit goes up into the Heavenly Father. But, um, I wanted to try to see if it was any good, you know, edification in the definition of death. You know, which is pretty good. Alright? It's just metaphorically the second, um, one. The loss of that life, which alone is worthy of the name you know and there you go man you know we basically lost who we are man you know we're not looked at as the children of the most high in this society it says that in Hosea 1 and 10 you know but and that's because of the curses man we on the bottom one man when really we should be praised we should be on the top the misery of the soul arising from sin see there you go and we just read, what is sin? Sin is a transgression of the law, which begins on earth, but lasts and increases after the death of the body and hell. Which basically, you know, that goes into when you come back, you know, you still got to serve a, a slavery, man. Curse be that when thou goest out, curse be thou when thou comest in. Okay? This is the miserable state of the wicked dead in hell. You know? Which, like I said, that basically goes into when you come into this world because hell can hell is um either a grave either the grave or a condition you know so we in hell in this place all right so the laws definitely do matter man all right which is we just read the out of the book of deuteronomy the 28th chapter man all right and it's a well-known fact that what deuteronomy from genesis to deuteronomy that's the five books of moses man where the most high gave um what a yeah, the, the, the books of the laws Where the Most High gave Moses The laws to give to Israel Okay And these, like I said These will last forever Well, for, for a good period of time, man You know Well, Slaki, the laws last forever Slaki Alright And hey, to prove that This is Baruch 4 and 1 This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Okay? And for the majority of our people, alright, they're in a dead estate. The scriptures say, He that wandereth out of the way of, of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You know? But us trying to keep the laws. That's why we're pushing our people, you know, to keep the laws, man. But obviously, you can't keep all the laws. But the laws that you can keep, you know, keep those, man. All right? And then for the rest, hey, that's why you have Yahweh Shai, man. That's where faith comes in, man. You know, that's where grace comes in. You know, for the laws that you can keep, like not being able to put a homosexual to death, you know, knowing that you would be able to, knowing that you would have to go, you would go to jail, you know, or not, um... You know, not, um, what's another law? You know, or basically staying away from a, um, a woman that's on her period, man. You don't, you know, what's in this world, you know, you could touch a doorknob that a woman on her period has touched, man. That makes you unclean, man. You know? So, hey, man, just quick edification, proving that the laws does in fact exist. Because of the, uh, you know, because of the, the curses that we're under. In fact, when you read into the curses, it says, um, let me see. You know, so with that, shalom to the elect.